Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Tom Spark Reviews. Today we're talking about how to configure Brave um, to have the best security. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Brave, it's an open source design browser based on Google Chrome. So that means you can use all the same extensions and move over pretty easily. However, Brave is designed a little bit different in that instead of just making the most money like Google and tracking you to serve targeted advertisements, it's based more around anonymity and security, which means it's not going to track you by default. So if you go to brave.com slash Tom352, you can download Brave and help support the channel if you use it for a month. Um, since Brave has a really cool creators program and it's kind of has this interesting cryptocurrency element to it that you can check out as well through the bat reward system. Anyways, guys, what can you configure with Brave? Well, you can actually configure a lot besides some of the basic you know, appearance settings and stuff like that. Um, Brave is unique because it has what is called a shield section. So with the shield section, you can block cross-site trackers. You can upgrade connections to HTTPS, which is gonna be SSL encrypted websites, which means that it's always gonna try to uh, serve you encrypted websites. You can actually block scripts as well. And there are some add-ons on Firefox that do that, but it's good to see that you can do it on Brave just with the default configuration here. Um, now, when you block scripts, it can break some websites, so I caution you to use that sparingly. And the cool thing here is you can also configure how to block cookies and how you want your device recognized. You can also block social media blocking, and I just have all these all turned off by default. You can also configure the search engine to DuckDuckGo, which is going to be a search engine that's not gonna track you as heavily as Google and serve you more unfiltered results. You can also configure some extensions like Web Torrents, which allows you to directly um, download torrents. I actually don't really like this because I like using proxy in BitTorrent. I have my VPN active, so I don't really need that. But what kind of extensions do I use in Brave? Well, these are my favorite extensions. So firstly, I have Disconnect. Um, this is a interesting add-on that is popular on Google Chrome. So basically what it's going to do is block websites and help you load pages web quicker um, and stop tracking. It's a pretty good add-on. I also have uBlock Origin, um, which is another ad blocker. And the reason I have these is because while Brave does block like third-party trackers, apparently it doesn't block like first-party um, ads and stuff like that on websites. Um, it blocks more of like other kind of things. So just to block everything, you probably will want to put on uBlock Origin to kind of make Brave even better. In terms of the other extensions I have, I do have TorGuard VPN extension. So this is going to be a proxy that you can install and it does require a TorGuard VPN subscription. But you can actually get that for as low as, you know, $3 a month for a one month subscription with code TomSpark. Or you could get it included within the main VPN subscription as well. Basically the way that works is just you're just going to install it from the store and it looks like this and you're just going to log in and pick a server and then connect. Very easy to use and this is going to anonymize your IP while you are browsing websites so they can't see your IP and you know your real world location. The only thing is if you are trying to anonymize your IP by and access streaming websites, you are going to have to get the streaming bundle and use the VPN since the proxy doesn't support streaming or dedicated IPs. Another thing is I use LastPass. It's a, uh, it's a really good password manager. Now it doesn't have the best reputation in some ways in the past there was some issues, but now LastPass has kind of fixed a lot of those issues. And in my opinion, it's probably one of the best password managers in terms of its intuitive ease of use. It's really well integrated on smartphones and your computer. So it's very easy to you know sync everything up and get it working very easily without much hassle. Some other things like Bitwarden are more free and open source, but I've found that they don't work quite as well in terms of easy use. Another thing I use is paybyprivacy.com. This is a website that is available for US um, citizens where you can generate anonymous um, debit cards that can be paused or deleted whenever you want. The way it works is it connects to your bank account and from there you can generate cards to pay for subscriptions. So you can pause a card and you won't get debited anymore. You could even delete cards. 
So it gives you a lot more control over your debit cards and stuff than you normally would have with your bank. Anyways, guys, these are some of my favorite extensions that I use with Brave. And I think in conjunction with the default settings and configuring those, using uBlock Origin, Disconnect, and some of these extra add-ons, you can have a pre-private and secure experience. Let me know down in the comments down below if you use any special add-ons or extensions that you really like. And I'll see you again on the next video.